So this is the lab about momentum and energy. This is how you rig up the cup. Make sure that you put paper, um, I'm sorry, duct tape on there so that it catches the foam nut that you um, um, shoot in there. You may not have the luxury of using a board like I do, but you have to do it somehow. Um, I usually make a mark behind the cup and then I'm going to measure how far it goes out. So here we go, I'm going to shoot it in there. And ideally, this should be done with two people. One person shoots and the other one measures. Well, puts the mark on the, on the wall that you cannot wash off. I'll do this three times, you may want to do it four or five times to get a good average. Um, so somewhere in there, and then this here would be the distance D that you have to measure. Notice, do not measure the angle. Um, because you use that distance D in order to calculate the angle. What else you have to measure here is the um, length of the pendulum. So length of the pendulum, which is from the pivot point here in my case, the bottom of the tape, to the middle of the cup. This makes sense because the cup swings at its center of mass, not at the bottom, not at the top, but the middle of the cup. Um, yeah, so you have to measure length, you have to measure this distance here, the average distance. You have to determine the mass of the foam darts. Oops, this one just fell off. Mass of the foam darts. I think I call it, just call it MD. And the mass of the pendulum itself, or the mass of the cup. Pendulum cup. 